It's wild. Have you been outside lately? It's nice. Yeah, <laughs> I, I walked into work with a long sleeve shirt and shorts on because, you know, it gets a little bit cold in the building at times. It does. And so I came in prepared, but walking from my car to here when I put that shirt on, I went, this is too much. Why I know. am I doing this? It's, it's gotten warm so fast. And it's crazy how quickly we warm up and how long it sticks around. I like the sound of that. Yesterday I told Mark something that I thought about all night and all day. Okay. This might very well mark the end of our sub-freezing temperatures in Spokane. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's here. And as we move through the next couple of days, it's all about the sunshine. So look at all the trees. All the trees that are almost greened up or leafed out are going to go all the way in the next, I would say, three days at rapid rates, insanely rapid rates. Reason being, we just had all of the moisture. Now we have the sunshine and the temps on the rise. But still, the water is cold. The water is very, very cold. So as we soar into the 80s, both Saturday and Sunday, and it starts to feel a lot like it should a month or so from now, kind of the end of June is typically when we would see heat like this. Seriously, even those overnight lows near 50 degrees, that's very June-like. So when it starts to feel more June-like, keep in mind the water is still cold. All of our water temperatures around here are in the 40s. Not quite freezing, but 40s feels freezing. It is enough to put your muscles into shock, your body into shock. You're going to hit the water. The first thing you are going to do is gasp for air while you don't have the ability to kind of tread water to stay afloat. So just know it's extremely dangerous if you're going to go jump in the water. When it comes to our overall weather pattern, this ridge just sticks around. Tomorrow's when we really start feeling the warmth and then it just sticks around. Saturday and even as we get into the day on Sunday. But notice things start shifting and our jet stream starts flattening out as we get into Sunday. That flattening of the jet is what is going to ebb those temperatures back ever so slightly. We're just going to dive into the seven day because I, I have faith that you guys know exactly what is going to happen here because we've worked so long on learning what's going on in the weather around us. 80 Friday, 82 Saturday, 81 Sunday, overnight lows in the 50s, but we don't have any storm coming in. However, we fall back into the low 70s. That's a 10 degree drop in high temperatures from Sunday to Monday, and that would mean we need something to cause that, and that is likely going to be wind. Hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jeremy.